This is going to be the best defensive formation and concept in Madden 23. And I wanted to give you a head start on it here in Madden 22, just so that you can start preparing and understanding why this concept is going to be so important. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name's Cody. We do Madden videos every single day to help you get better at the game. We try to grow every single day and get better ourselves. And so if you are wanting to get better at this game, Madden 23 is right around the corner. And this is a core video that I think is gonna be really important for your success in Madden 23. So if you wanna get access to all of my latest stuff, make sure you hit that sub button. I also wanna let you know that if you wanna learn a little bit more about this 245 odd defense, I've got a full 245 odd defensive ebook based around the primary pillar that we're gonna talk about in my Patreon uh, page. It's only $10 to sign up for my Patreon and it gets you access to all of my Madden 22 uh, offensive and defensive ebooks. We have released over 30 offensive and defensive ebooks, including our Madden 23 training camp series, uh, which we're doing uh, starting this week. So if you want to check that out, again, all that will be available uh, by just joining the Patreon for just 10 bucks. Okay, guys, so this is the best defensive concept in Madden 23, and it's the best bullets in the game by far. And it is Pinch 2 out of Nickel 245 Odd. Now, all you need to do is um, you really don't need to do anything. Um, you can, if you want to, uh, put this to play receiver and put this to play ball or uh, base line. But what you'll see here is all you're going to do is you're going to user the linebacker that is on the running back side, and you're going to stand right about here so you can shoot the run. And at the snap of the ball, you're going to run down and click left trigger, and you'll see here that this edge pressure will absolutely scream. Now, this defense is also really, really good because you can't weak box it. It's a nickel set. It's not a dollar set. And so this is going to create, uh, again, just incredible pressure, as you can see. Now, there is a way that you can actually get this only sending two people. What we want to do here is if you just simply spread your linebackers, you're going to then QB spy your nose tackle. You're going to uh, bluff blitz or man up this backside guy here. So I'm going to put him in a bluff blitz. And then you'll see he'll be in that three wreck. I'm going to blitz my user. And then I'm going to take this guy over here and put him into a vertical hook. So you see this is creating a really nice little cover three style defense. And at the snap of the ball, you just want to run here. And you'll see that you're getting this two-man pressure. This is why this defense is so good. You can send five. You can send two. Um, if you wanted to send, um, if you let's say, for example, you, you only want to send two people. What you could also do here is we could spy this backside defensive end. We could bluff blitz this backside linebacker. He'll guard the running back really well. And then we could middle third and then put our vertical hooks out there just like this. And now we're only going to rush two people. But what you'll see is we'll get a quick shed right through the middle. And as you can see, this is a great little scheme. Now, what you can also do, let's say you want to only send two people. Um, I think one of the best coverages in the game is going to be the double Mabel next year. So what we can easily do is we could go ahead and curl flat zone that backside guy there. And then this backside, um, this backside defensive end, we're going to put him in a, in a curl flat. And then we're going to bluff blitz that linebacker. We could also leave him blitzing. Um, but now what you'll see here is we're only going to send two people, but what you'll see is we'll still be able to get really nice sheds. So again here, still going to get our nice sheds. And this is something that is really effective in the Madden 23 beta is you can double Mabel out of this. There's a lot that you can do. Um, but I would really encourage you if you wanted to run this on base align, you certainly could. Um, and you'll see here that this is, this bliss is going to work really well on base align. might even be a little better on base align. Um, but this is the core concept. I think this is one of the best defenses. I think it'll be the best defense in the game or at least one of the top two or three next year um, because you're able to really put a lot of pressure on the opponent. And it's very difficult to block this. One of the best ways that people like to block uh, pressure is they like to block their tight end. What you'll see with this blitz because it's coming off this left side, um, it's a little bit more difficult to, to, to block by blocking a tight end. As you can see, it still comes in. If you want to learn the entire 245 odd defense and a lot of the concepts that will still carry over into Man 23 and be effective, my 245 odd defensive ebook is in my Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up. Remember, by signing up, you not only get access to that, 
You'll also get access to my Monday 23 training course um, or training series and every additional ebook we have over there. Over 30 offensive defensive ebooks and our Madden 22, uh, our Madden 23 training camp ebook. So if you want to check all that out, it's only $10 to sign up. The link is down below. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to sign up for it, head on down and click that link.